Howdy, folks. It's Ed and Holly, and we are going to be doing a painting Sterling Pearls demonstration. We will also be discussing this guy. Gold highlighter. It's a decorative use only product. Decorative use only. What are our Sterling Pearls, Ed the Cake Guy? These are the alternative, the best alternative, the only product that is perfect for use on all your confectionery needs. <laughs> And they are FDA compliant and food coloring. Kosher certified. They sure are. Did you know that? I knew that. <laughs> this is so cheesy. We will be reviewing the top six Sterling Pearl colors that we produce and manufacture here at the Sugar Art. Then I'm going to paint my top four favorite Sterling Pearl colors for you also. So it's going to be shiny, it's going to be fun, it's going to be safe. And it'll be fun, fun, fun. Wait, did you just say fun? Already? I already said fun. And oh. I'm also going to show you guys when it is appropriate to use gold highlighter. So let's get started. Let's start with highlighter. The not edible decorative use only product. I'm starting with just a bit of powder. I'm not even gonna put this full spatula in here. I always fill my Everclear in these little dropper bottles because I like to have a lot of control when I'm trying to make my paints. You only wanna have enough liquid to where it carries the product. If it's too thin, then you'd have to make multiple coats. If it's too thick, then it can... Then the dust can gather. So the only time you would ever use highlighter in sugar art, my friends, is on a piece like this. These are my beautiful gum paste roses, and sometimes I really like to touch them up with highlighter. Now, these little roses, in theory, would only go on a cake. Nobody is going to eat gum paste flowers because they're already made of materials that are not edible. What other things could they use highlighter on? Oh, a great example would be whenever I used to do all my wedding cakes, I would make monograms of the bride and groom, their initials, and that's a great- So like plaques and bows and numbers and things that you do not consume, that your customer will not consume. And moreover, they keep them as keepsakes. That's what this is perfect for. And that is the only time it is good to use highlighter. Moving on to our FDA compliant and kosher certified Sterling Pearl line. We're gonna start with Wedding Gold, which is our best selling gold and Ed's personal favorite. And then we're going to try Golden Halo, which is my formula and my personal favorite. Battle of the his and hers golds. Let's do this. I'm going to take a good helping of the wedding gold. So what consistency are we looking for here? We're looking for a consistency that is just thick enough to be able to carry all the powder inside of there without having any kind of pooling or, or gathering. And that is... Wow, perfect, the first time. I nailed it. You nailed it. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Wedding Gold, this is one of our flagship colors in our Sterling Pearl line. It brushes on so smooth and it has a very fine gold finish. You see Holly only did one application of it when she put it on and it looks phenomenal. Unlike some of the other golds, this is the most traditional gold. It has a great earthiness and it's not too yellow that's the reason why i like this whether it's on a wedding cake or a groom's cake you have the perfect gold every time so we'll just kind of fill the cookie here so we can see a really great compare and contrast of wedding gold and golden halo two layers of wedding gold and it's absolutely gorgeous a very rich beautiful traditional gold Let's move on to Golden Halo. I absolutely love this gold. It is my formula, my baby, and it's perfect. And this Golden Halo, the finish of it, it's wonderful. Unlike the Wedding Gold, instead of being a very deep, full of color base tone, this is a very soft tone. However, the sparkle, the mica, the pearlescent that's inside of it that really gives it that metallic finish is off the charts, beautiful. It really allows the light to bounce back and it gives such a delicate, but still vibrant finish whenever you 
brush it onto your cookies or your cakes. Because we want that large mica. We want it to have that huge reflection to the light. But in that, you have to play around with the consistency a little bit more with Golden Halo, and you will need to layer it as well. And we find with the Golden Halo, moreover than any other color, uh, making it just a little thinner. A little thinner. It absolutely helps. Absolutely helps in the overall final uh, finish that you accomplish. So I think this is the best compare and contrast video that we've done with Golden Halo and Wedding Gold. And it is just absolutely stunning. And you can see both are very much gold, but very unique and different in their own right. The one that's on the higher side, the Wedding Gold, it's rich and full, whereas the Golden Halo is light and delicate, but so much, it really does pop so much more. Gosh. And the best part is FDA compliant and kosher certified. Amen. Folks, thank you so much for joining this IGTV episode of Painting Sterling Pearls with Ed and Holly. Hope you enjoyed your education. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all take care. Bye.